Eugene is unique. He's definitely a top tier athlete, probably one of the best in the world at the top 0.5%. Whether he gets drafted in the first round, second round, whether he goes undrafted, the one thing that I do know for sure that he'll be in the league. Omarui! Eugene Omarui! Omarui for three. That one falls. He's got 28. Omarui! 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 I got to know Eugene initially because he came to play for Advantage. We're at the gym on a Friday night, Eugene comes in and he went up in the layup line and he dunked. Outwardly, I was like this, but inside I was losing my mind. Eugene's competitive spirit, I see it now more than I saw it when he was younger. Uh, it's been there when I seen him when he was in grade six, grade seven, grade eight, grade nine. But now when I see him get excited, he flexes the muscles and he's getting amped up for the game, getting a lot of energy. He's always been doing that, but he's more focused and driven. Words matter. You didn't say from Ontario or Toronto. You said Rexdale. Why? Growing up in Ruxdale was challenging. You're seeing gang violence, you're seeing crime, and it's a hard in those neighborhood. And coming out of there is it's, it's one of the hardest things. A lot of people don't make it out, a lot of people don't even finish high school. So just coming out of Ruxdale was big for me. Playing for Motion growing up and coming from that neighborhood, Motion basketball is a big thing from that neighborhood. And it shows toughness and it shows fight. It's kind of the pipeline I went through. And just showcasing Ruxdale and showcasing what we do is, is what I bring to the court, that gritty style. And just wanting to win and wanting to prove why we belong. Eugene is the kind of kid that is very determined. Whatever he's doing, he's put, he will put his mind and soul into it. He loves to compete. If you look at the way he plays, he's so intense, he's so energetic, he's so strong. In my culture, people like that, they call them as having one bone. That means their bones is just straight and there's no connecting tissue. He's such a strong man. So I'm really proud of him. I know that God who started this beautiful journey will bring it to a beautiful end. I would say imagining draft night just to be a blessed moment and just me wanting to hear my name called. It's not only about me hearing my name called, it's about me wanting to go out there and compete at the highest level and wanting to not only get to the NBA, but stay in the NBA. And uh, I feel like a lot of people get blindsided by that by just thinking that their goal, the ultimate goal is to make it to the NBA. I feel like it's staying in the NBA is the ultimate goal for me. Eugene is a good role model coming out of Rexo for these young men. This is someone who's been in the community. He's been up and down the street. He ate at the same place as you ate. He's walked through Albion Mall. Like, like this is someone who looks like you and, and you could be like this. If you put the work and effort into this, you can end up as far as I'm even further than him. You gotta continue fighting for what you believe in. It's just another obstacle in your journey. Like my mom always tells me, God gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers. And I feel like I'm the toughest soldier God has. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to win and whatever it takes to continue chasing my dreams and my goals. I'm never going to stop, no matter what happens. This is Eugenia Murray. I'm NBA Draft Ready on Sportsnet. Oh.